swapping off. So let's go ahead and give him some threats to respond to. Is queen to b6 okay? I want to get my rooks over to the king side. This vaguely feels like a plan is forming right now. Okay, so that gets taken first. That's cool. I... Can I get away with... No, because he can just play the knight back. And then I take here with check. He blo And then the king... Does that work? I don't know if it works, but we're going to try it. I like this idea. And by idea, I mean current lack of idea. I like this idea. So we're going to go ahead and YOLO this. Um, because worst case scenario is I'm a piece for two pawns down. Well, okay, you can do that. But your king is now on f8, buddy. And that's got to be a win for me. I'm feeling okay about this now. So I should be able to play my queen back here. Uh, where are you going with your knight? Where can you go with your knight? Technically your knight can go back. Okay. Oh no, that was a rubbish move because of rook b1. I need to be thinking. But that's okay. Do I play the knight in now? Yeah, we play the knight in now. Let's increase pressure. If you play the rook out and you really, really want to attack this stuff, I'm okay with that. Uh, we're going to take that and respond to rook b1 with a really clever move. Guys, you're supposed to be helping me work out what this really clever move is. Move you're the queen! You're not... Move the queen! Alright! We have a candidate for a really clever move. The queen is going to a5 and all of a sudden we are on fire. Audience participation at an all-time high. Uh, we have my opponent playing what I would consider to be a strange move because I actually feel like b6 shores up my obviously shady position just a little bit. I've still got queen takes a2 and my opponent... Okay, I guess that's a thing. Um... I am after bigger fish, though. I want to see how I can attack on the king side. And I think any reasonable player in this position wants to see how they can attack on the king side. So I'm going to reposition my bishop to hit f3 as much as possible. Uh, I don't know where my opponent's going, but I'm wondering if I need to care. Um, how best... No! And 20? Oh! 20! 20 seconds! Yes, yes! Right! Uh, uh, pass pawns, queen side, good, very good, so good, delicious, okay. Um, don't check me, uh, we can do this. By the way, team, we got this. I believe in you. I've always believed in you. I might not be believing in you very much right now. It's alright, we got this. It's cool. It's cool, don't even worry about it. It's cool, we push a pawn. Not really sure what's going on. He takes. All right, we take as well. Ten seconds left. Could be pushing a pawn. Could be pushing a pawn. Oh, he's gone ahead. Whoa. Whoa. He might get checkmated here if he's not careful. But it's fine. Oh god. It's less, less fine now. Don't worry! I can take the rook! I can't take the rook. I can't take the rook. Definitely can't take the rook. Tom has a fresh drink. But I'm playing one more. I can't end on that. Game 2 was so unbelievably spectacular. It would just be unjust. If, if I was to make a general comment... No. A, just a general one? Mm-hmm. That's not a very general comment, Tom. Well... well yeah... It, when you have a winning position, it make it, you make it look like the way to win it is to play as many moves as quickly as possible. It's definitely true, Tom. Uh, whereas what you need to do is play half as many moves 
twice as well. Well, where's the fun in that, Tom? Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we have this show called Hack Attack, and yeah. that yeah, just you, you can't what pre- is you can't pre-move when you're trying to mate someone. What's going on here, Tom? I don't know, but you're not shopping queens. I don't actually understand what's going on here, Tom. So, okay. That was always optional, and that was the key to good chess. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it first uh, from Tom Rendell. Just hurry up with this game. If you're if you're not sure what's going on, your understanding of the position is entirely optional. And that is how to play good chess. And it looks like my opponent might be trying to mate me, so I'm going to go ahead and try and take all of his pieces. Okay. That's not going to be terribly possible right now. So let's go ahead and shore up and develop. I'm cool with this. I'm down with the kids. Uh, okay, so admittedly that's a minor problem. But, you know, it's only minor. We're going to play a knight out to the rim. Knights out to the rim are sexy. I am sufficiently ahead in material that it probably does... Oh. How concerned am I about this? I'm slightly concerned and slightly annoyed, so let's go ahead and swap off. Fine. Let's hurry this up. Geronimo, he says as another pawn bites the dust. We're going to be swapping this off as well. Thank you very much. Uh, which I'm sure is technical language for thank you very much in some region or other. So let's see if we can mop up some pawns. No, not yet. It doesn't look like my opponent is interested in giving me those pawns. However, I will attempt to not give him a choice. Okay, he wants to check me. That is fair enough. Oh, he wants to check me and fork my rooks. He can't fork my rooks. If he forks my rooks, I... Oh, he can. Okay, he can. He still can. But I can take the pawn first. Takes, 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 takes. And I'm winning by a less of a margin than I am now, but it should be okay. Oops. He said. And he has to take the rook back. Okay. This this might be an end game that Tom can concede. Even John can win. Tom just gave me a little bit of a signal that makes me want to punch him a little. But that's fine, because we're breaking through the middle with a pass pawn. I, th I think your favorite. Look, look. Breakthrough, ladies and... And Hack Attack Show won by resignation. So from a position where, you know, White's considered favorite from this position because Tom's very generous with his positional assessments and all that, we did at least manage to get four out of four winning positions. That isn't even strictly true because of game number one. Right. All right. We'll call it three out of four, guys. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the halftime show. Of course, please don't forget... The next show isn't in two weeks' time, it's in three weeks' time. We're going to be back on Thursday, the 21st of May, same time, same place, 8 o'clock in the evening, on twitch.tv forward slash chess, or chess.com forward slash TV. And we'll be having two shows in a row in May, so we'll have the 21st and the 28th. You can go ahead and follow the show, make sure you go and check Tom out, he's at... T.E. Rendell on Twitter. I'm at Hong Kong John, of course, and go ahead and give those lovely folks at Chesscom a little bit of a follow. Highlights from all of our shows up until, I want to say, two episodes ago and soon to be last episode as well will also be on the YouTube Chess.com channel. So for now, guys, I'll hand you back over to Tom for some three-minute chess to close out the second half of the show. Don't go anywhere. Wrong screen. Let's try that again. <laughs>